But some people wonder, can we really create superhuman AI? I'd like to get some historical perspective on this. It's definitely true that some early predictions about AI progress were naive, but at the same time, uh, one, af one obstacle after another has been conquered. In 1954, it looked to some like machines would never do probabilistic reasoning, but a few decades later, later uh, probabilistic induction was the, the standard uh, paradigm in AI. Um, in 1965, the philosopher Hubert Dreyfus mocked the entire field of AI as alchemy, and he mocked the ability of 1965 chess programs, chess programs which defeated him two years later. In 1973, Satoshi Watanabe predicted that AI would never be able to classify objects, but now object classification is a standard technique in machine learning, and Google Picasso can recognize your friend's faces in a group photo. By 1986, an AI program could beat the best human players in Scrabble, and of course in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue beat the world chess champion Garry Kasparov. By 2008, AI programs were better than humans at detecting breast cancer from images. And in 2009, we got our first robotic scientist named Adam. Adam was programmed with our scientific knowledge about yeast and yeast genomics. And uh, Adam devised its own hypotheses and then tested those hypotheses on its own. They gave, you know, Adam had robot arms and a fridge full of yeast samples and cameras and stuff like that. And uh, Adam assessed the results on its own and made a novel scientific discovery about yeast genomics without humans intervening at any point in that, in that process. Uh, and the year 2012 has been no slouch for progress in artificial intelligence either. But still, many challenges remain. We don't yet have machines that can play hockey or write novels or do AI research. And some people believe that we'll never get past uh, this next hump and get to superhuman AI. But I think we will. The reason is pretty simple. In short, the human mind does what it does by way of information processing. And machines can do information processing, too. And this is the near universal consensus in cognitive science. Many things look mysterious to us now. But the universal pattern of history is that things which look mysterious to us now uh, turn out to have lawful explanations and not explanations grounded in some ungraspable magic. Or as Tim Minchin said, every mystery every, sol every, every mystery ever solved has turned out to be not magic. Ray Kurzweil has a great illustration of this in one of his books. A man is frantically scribbling down things that only a human can do and pasting them up on the wall. But then those predictions keep turning out to be wrong, and they fall to the floor. This picture was published in 1999, and since then, machines have conquered the driving cars thing, and we can see obvious progress in uh, translating continuous speech and cleaning houses. So basically, if you make these kinds of predictions about what machines can't do, you're going to end up on the wrong side of history. Because intelligent behavior isn't magic, and we'll eventually figure it out. <laughs>